Ten years ago, Rebecca Davis was a promising photojournalist at the University of Texas at Austin. The artist behind such iconic pieces as the 2006 series of Birds on a Wire, Rebecca pursued stories with an intensity that impressed and often frightened her friends. After years of shooting in roller derbies and fish markets, it seemed her career was finally taking flight. All that changed, though, in the spring of 2007, when a freak accident in the photography lab left Rebecca unable to move her right index finger. It was the digit upon which her dreams rested. It was her shutter finger. Unable to take pictures, Rebecca watched from the sidelines as old friends won awards for groundbreaking work around the world. Her life began a sharp downward spiral. So where is she now? Taking a cue from the Saturday morning mavens of ESPN2, Rebecca has reinvented her life around the game of billiards. Rebecca once again goes out each night with dreams of making the perfect shot. Really, it was very apparent that I just had natural talent for, for playing pool. In some ways, after um, the injury, um, you know, I was a little upset for a while, but I was really like, you know, this, this happened for a reason, and this is kind of going to give you a chance to really follow your true talent and, and passion. So, um, you know, I really am not upset at all about how things worked out. It's, uh, it's been really, uh, really a good thing. I'm making making real good money, real good money playing pool these days. Um, you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't think it, but uh, yeah, it's really it's really not bad, not bad at all. Do you keep in touch with your your classmates? Uh, run into them every once in a while, but um, but uh, not not really. You know, sometimes be flipping through Newsweek or New York Times or something, and I'll see uh, some pictures from people. You know, um, like pictures, you know, Brian Hollingsworth or, uh, you know, Pat Michaels. Joey. See him sometimes. Uh, yeah, Audrey Dodge and Mark Hamill. You know, they're all, they're all doing real well. Eli Kaplan, it looks like he's uh, got a show here. Uh, Melvin's Plow. Hmm. I don't really necessarily see them, but I kind of know that they're around and stuff. Yeah. The injury was so crippling that uh, I really can't even take pictures the way I used to. Now I have to set my camera down and actually take it with my left hand. So I really just don't like to, to talk about it. It's real hard. You know, I got a good thing going down. Slick Willies and uh, Buffalo Billiards, I think I told you. Uh, really, it's kind of like a second home to me, those places. But, uh, you know, I still still got lots of goals and aspirations um, within pool. Uh, you know, I think I'll, uh, you know, stick with this Austin circuit for a while. But I'd like to like to move out, maybe uh, go play in Vegas. Um, you know, you got to have your dreams. Today, Rebecca is getting therapy to help get back behind the camera. With the help of trainers and photo psychologists, Rebecca celebrated a new milestone last week. Her first photograph in over a decade. When she walks, she swings her arms instead of her hips. When she talks, she moves.